this is a lightsaber tutorial for a skill I call the helicopter neck spin. Let's do it. I'm going to break the skill down into three separate progressions at three different levels. I'm doing this because the full helicopter neck spin skill is actually a little bit dangerous if you don't know what you're doing, especially with a heavy lightsaber like this one or a heavy staff. So our goal will be to master each progression at each level before you move on to the full skill. That means you need to be able to do 10 in a row of each skill before you move on to the next one. The first progression is actually a skill that I've already taught before, and that's just half a neck trap. So that's our beginner progression. If you refer back to a tutorial video I put up a couple months ago called Neck Traps, you'll find a more in-depth explanation of this and a couple other progressions that I think are actually really important for this skill. So make sure you go back and check that out. I'll put it in the description down below. But I would say that video is actually a prerequisite to this helicopter neck spin video. You're gonna start in your right hand and you're gonna actually put that right hand right on the edge of the top of the hilt so that the butt of the hilt is over to the left. We do this because we wanna be really aware of how much weight we're putting at the back to do that half neck trap. If I do it the other way with the blade end at the back, it's actually just a little bit too heavy and it's not gonna make it to the other side. Plus, you have this blade and if it were a real lightsaber, that would be a problem and you're more likely to catch it from the blade if you start with the blade end up. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this right hand and I'm gonna place it on my left collarbone. I do not want to be reaching my right hand all the way around my neck. That's going to send the lightsaber or the staff, whatever you're working with, it's going to send it too far over to the left and it's going to end up wrapping all the way around and it might actually hit you in the face. And again, with a heavy lightsaber with a heavy end like this one, that's really dangerous. So you don't want to do that. So just make sure you put that right hand at your left collarbone. All I'm going to do is just do a little wrist flick with my right hand. This is the only movement I really need to do. It doesn't need any more energy than that. So I'm just gonna do that little wrist flick and that's gonna send it across the back of my neck. Notice how the hilt is centered in the middle of my neck and it's gonna come wrap around this left side and I'm gonna take my left hand, palm open, I'm gonna put it on my right shoulder and protect my face a little bit and that hilt's just gonna fall right into your left hand. And then from there you can take it out and do whatever you want from there. You want to make sure that you're sending the stick or the sword or the lightsaber across the back of your neck horizontally. If you send this butt end down, you're going to send the lightsaber down on an angle down there. You might even want to turn it up a little bit just to get that back end coming up so that it comes across your neck. And I want to leave my neck nice and long and open. I'm not doing any movement with my neck. Look how little I'm doing here to here. I've really done nothing at all. And that catch on the other side is very, very quick. You don't have time to think about what you're gonna do. As soon as you put this on your shoulder, have this hand ready to go and get this right hand out of the way. That is our very first progression of the helicopter neck spin. And it goes from the right hand, across your neck to the left hand, and that's it. Our second progression in the helicopter neck spin is the actual neck spin. And this is an intermediate skill. And this is a skill that you're probably gonna end up spending a lot of time on because it's a little bit trickier than it looks. And it looks like this. So what it's doing is it's doing one full spin on the back of your neck, which can get quite tricky and complex. So we're gonna break it down a little bit here. You're gonna start the neck spin the exact same way that you started the half neck trap. So I'm gonna put my right hand at the end of the hilt with the butt end facing the left. I'm gonna put my right hand on my left collarbone, not any farther back than that. I'm gonna do my little wrist nudge that we did just like in our half neck trap, except for this time when I let it go and it comes across my neck, I need to drop my head, not my entire body. It's just my head, only enough to get this butt end over the back of my head and into my left hand on the other side. So this one, the catch is a little bit different. So you're catching it in the left hand on the left shoulder. That butt end's gonna come right to it if you put it in the right spot. So again, right hand to left collarbone. I send it across my back. As that's happening, I'm going to drop my head and I'm going to let the butt end pass. Then it's gonna come to my open and waiting 
left hand. This one, just like the half neck trap, this, it's the same principle, less is more. So you notice that when I do it, I'm not doing much with my head at all. So I'm not doing any crazy head spins. I'm not moving my body. I'm just dropping my head enough to get that end over to the other side. This is a skill that I wouldn't recommend starting with a heavy lightsaber on just because it is moving around your head and it can can be dangerous if you do it wrong. In the beginning, you're gonna be doing it hundreds and hundreds of times before you really start to master it. I recommend that you actually use a staff to start. You could use any kind of staff you want. You could use a contact staff or a nice light staff like this one. Either way works. I prefer a lighter staff because that's how I learned but you can do this skill with a heavy or a light one. It's really your own personal preference, as I've said in many of my videos. When you're working with the staff, again, you wanna just go about a hand length down of center. Same principles apply. I have the staff in my right hand. I'm gonna put it on my left shoulder. I'm gonna do the same little nudge. I'm gonna send it across the back of my neck. Notice that it's centered. And then I'm going to drop my head. Now I can peek out of the corner of my eye, especially with the longer staff. I can see it coming in my peripheral vision and that's really helpful because you don't want to turn your head like this or you're going to get in the way of the, the path of the staff. So here I can look out of the corner of my eye, I can see it and I'm going to know I need to drop my head and then catch it on the other side. So if this is a brand new skill for you, please use a staff. Don't use that heavy lightsaber. You'll thank me. Your nose will thank me. Your jaw will thank me. This next spin skill is uber useful for a lot of the skills that happen on our necks here. I would recommend this skill. I could spend a whole 20 minute video just talking about this neck spin and what we can do from here. And another thing we need to talk about is putting the staff in the proper tracks. Now you can see where my jacket sort of ends and my skin begins. That's a perfect place to be putting your staff or sword or lightsaber. If you put it any lower than that, what's gonna happen is when it comes around your back, it's gonna be hanging out in your shoulders back here. And that's not gonna be very helpful for you. You're, you're not gonna be able to manipulate it the way you want it to. It should be quite high on your neck. So even wearing a jacket, I can still do the skill because my neck is exposed. On the left side, it's just above my collarbone, right where my neck and my shoulder meet. Then when it comes to my back, it's sitting above my jacket collar and just below my hairline. And then when it comes into this side, make sure your chin is up so it doesn't hit you in the face. It's coming in that track right where my neck and my shoulder meet. So that's a perfect placement. And if you have to go back to your half neck trap, please do. This is so important to the skill. You're never gonna get to the full helicopter unless you can do the groundwork, which is right here. And I will always, always tell you, go back to your neck traps. There is nothing wrong with going back here. We've just worked through our first two progressions. The first one, the beginning progression and where you should start regardless of your level is just the half neck trap, right hand, left shoulder, catching the left hand on the right shoulder. So that's your first progression. The second one is the next spin. Starts the exact same way, right hand, left shoulder, goes around your neck, but this time you're gonna catch it in your left hand on your left shoulder and then you can pull it out any way you want. Our third progression is our advanced progression and that is the helicopter part. So we've already worked on the next spin which is the bottom half. Now we're working on coming from the left hand as it goes all the way around your arm, around your neck into that left hand. And this is where it starts to get dicey. I asked you to go through all those progressions for a reason because I need you to have a lot of awareness of what the saber or the staff or whatever you're using is doing in this general area. Remember that your head is right here. It's not very far away. So it's different when you're doing all this kind of stuff. Your head's not really in the picture there. But now we have to worry about this butt end coming and making contact with your jaw. Now you're gonna start with your palm up and you're gonna put the butt of your saber in your left hand as close to the end as possible. Now if you have a saber or a sword that has a little bit longer hilt, you might be able to get away with sliding your hand down a little bit, but I find for this saber, it's a flow saber, I have to place my hand right at the end. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your left hand above your head and you're gonna take your palm from facing you and you're gonna turn it 
as far as you can. And that's what's gonna initiate the rotation that goes around your arm. So I push up, I keep rotating, and I get to about here. This is where I can't rotate my shoulder anymore without compromising my skeleton. I'm gonna go to that point. When I get there, I'm going to open my hand. As I let go, I'm letting the saber come around. It's gonna go around one full time, another full time, and that's when it should be hitting your armpit. So it's gonna go once around, twice around. By the time it's doing its second rotation, it should end up in this arm position, which is very similar to a matrix or a monster roll. So again, I left hand, palms facing me. I push it up as I rotate it to my full range of motion. I release, it goes around my arm once and it's falling. So there's gonna be an element of it dropping and then you're gonna help it come around then it's gonna drop into this armpit. So that's where you wanna get to with that helicopter part. Push up, it rotates all the way around two times, gets to my armpit, the blade should be facing to the back. It's gonna come around in this position underneath my arm into this first neck position. If you've done your neck traps, you will know where this is. You won't have to guess. You'll just know that it's gonna come around and into this position. Hint, go back to the neck drop video. Here's a bonus progression for you. You're gonna start the exact same way we've already been working with the staff. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this half neck trap. You're gonna do it around your left armpit. So I'm gonna take the left end, the butt end, I'm gonna reach it behind my arm. I'm gonna drop my head to the right so that this track on my neck is open. I'm gonna do that same little wrist flick that we did for a half neck trap and I'm gonna send the butt end into my track. Now the body work for this third progression is really, really important, and it's actually very similar to a monster roll or a matrix roll. That means the left arm is gonna go up. As that's happening, I'm tilting my body to the right and leaning over my right leg so that I get this left arm perpendicular to the floor. So that's what's happening at the bottom of the helicopter. So again, left hand pushes up, you rotate to your max range of motion. I'm already starting to lean over. I'm gonna stick my hand up. I'm gonna help it around by doing some little circles. It goes around my arm twice. It comes into my armpit, and then it does that little half track into this left side. Once it's here, all you have to do is repeat our second progression, which is the next spin and then pull it out in your left hand. Because this one is so dangerous, I really recommend that you practice this with a staff first. You don't need a heavy staff or a light staff, it's whatever you like to use. I'm gonna start and end it the exact same way. My tool is just different and it's a lot safer, which for the first thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand times you do it, it's gonna be really important because you don't want to be at all tentative when it's coming around because that's gonna make it more likely to hit you. So I'm gonna start the same. I'm about one hand length down of center. Left palm is up. Push it straight up as it goes all the way around and into my neck. You can catch that one anywhere you like. You can catch it over your right shoulder, left shoulder. That's up to you. I find with the heavier saber or swords, it's easier to catch it in the left hand. I find with stabs, it's easier to catch it in the right hand. So just practice it both ways. You'll figure out what's good for you, but I do highly recommend that you start this skill with a staff. So that's pretty much it for the helicopter neck spin. Like I said before, it is an advanced skill and a very complex skill. So don't beat yourself up if you don't get it right away. Just go back to each progression. Make sure you can do 10 in a row of each one and you'll be well on your way there. Also, as I said before, please practice with the staff first. If you can master it with a lighter, safer tool, you're gonna to be much more able to do it with your lightsaber. And side note, it is quite unavoidable for some part of your body during this skill to be touching the blade. But I want you to remember that this saber is not a real saber. Suspend your disbelief, use the force. If you're skilled enough to do this skill with a lightsaber, chances are you're skilled enough with the force to make sure that the blade doesn't actually hit you and chop your head off. Don't underestimate my ability to use the force. Can't argue that. 
So that's it for this lightsaber tutorial video. We did the helicopter neck spin, super advanced skill, but super badass. I really hope to see some of you getting it. Now, if you like my tutorials and you wanna show me some love, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and go over and follow me on Facebook. That's Michelle Krista Smith. Instagram at michelle.c.smith and please share these videos because the more you do that it shows me what you're really into and then I can make more useful videos for you that you're really gonna love especially with the lightsaber because who doesn't love a lightsaber so that's it for today happy practicing and may the force be with you now we're working on coming from your left hand as it goes all the way around your arm and around your neck and in